Hi everyone, this is um, Alan Rosinski of Metro Manhattan um, Office Space. Office rentals, probably the second greatest expense for most companies after payroll. And keeping real estate costs under control is critical. Um, the clients I work with frequently are on very, very um, tight budgets. So keeping, acquiring the amount of space they need within a certain specific budget is really, really key. And I want to discuss that with you this evening and how you can negotiate the lowest possible base rent. And this will work for you whether you're in New York, Chicago, San Francisco, Paris, or anywhere. So I'm give you an example, which is going to help make this more uh, tangible. About two years ago, I represented a digital marketing company, which was in a sublease of about 800 square feet, and they needed about 2,000 square feet. And they wanted to upgrade to a Class A building near Grand Central. Two of the partners was, were commuting in from Connecticut on Metro North, and they wanted to be very near their office, and their clients were around there. Space in that area was renting for at the time for about $62 to $80 a square foot. Their budget was maybe $58 a square foot. I showed them nine spaces in three buildings and one of the spaces was perfect. The asking was about 975 square feet if I recall. The asking rent was $63 a square foot. They offer, authorized me to make an offer at $50, $55 a square foot, which the landlord didn't respond, but ultimately we were able to negotiate something very, very close to their um, asking rent. Very, very nice space, high floor, conference room, smaller meeting room, open plan, good creative space for a marketing agency. So how did we do it? Well. Concessions, I sort of off with saying the concessions are interchangeable. You go to a better landlord, maybe in an A building, and they're going to assume that they're going to have to build out the space, or they're going to factor in some improvements to the space. Sometimes they'll offer you some free rent. So you want to induce a landlord to make a little bit of an effort for you. So I'm going to give you some tips for negotiating a lower base rent. First of all, offer to take a space in as-is condition. So if the space needs a paint job, you hire a painter, you get the space, you get the space painted. It's not going to cost you an, uh, a, a fortune. So you may have to look around a little bit more to find something with a layout that will work for you. And you may have to be willing to do some cosmetic work, but uh, this will make a difference to the landlord, be a nice inducement for them to make an effort. Uh, number two, don't request free rent. Landlords will sometimes give tenants free rent so the tenant is not in a position to have to pay double rent. Let's say they're coming off of uh, a lease um, and they want some time to move their furniture, set up the new location. The landlord is an accommodation, will provide some level of free rent. Don't ask for this because you're focusing on a low base rent. So if you don't have the landlord do work, and you're not asking them for free rent, you're in a better position to ask them to reduce uh, their, um, th their rent, to come down a little bit. Number three, offer to take the space immediately. In your proposal, list the lease commencement and rent commencement upon lease execution. So if they've got an empty and you're, going, you're making an offer on an empty space in their mind, that space is going to be generating income for them soon. So maybe they'll do something for you. No, no uh, work, no free rent. They're starting to collect rent soon. Those are some compelling reasons for them to show flexibility on the rent. Number four, if you can, if you're an established business, offer the landlord a longer term lease. So from their perspective, they're getting a good credit 
tenant, a reliable tenant in the, in the building, and they're not going to have an empty, and an empty space, a shorter lease in their minds could represent an expense. If you sign a short-term, say, three-year lease, they may think that space is going to be empty, and they're going to incur the expenses of marketing the space in three years. Now, lastly, number five, when you make your proposal to the landlord, include financial documentation and referrals that'll put you in a good light. Generally, landlords want to see the last two years of your corporate tax returns. If they're profitable, that's going to help you. If you can um, provide also a landlord referral letter, that's going to work in your favor. If your financials uh, don't show, if your tax returns don't show profitability, maybe you have contracts for new business that show that the uh, your, your company is expanding and is on the road to profitability. Show that. Whatever you do, try to avoid withholding documents because landlords are sensitive to that and um, they just want to see information. You're always better off being uh, upfront with them and showing them how you're uh, going to be a good uh, a tenant, a good reliable tenant in the building and how you can, of course, afford the space. So these are five tips and pointers which will help you negotiate the lowest possible rental number. I hope this is uh, of assistance to you and you've learned something. Please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a uh, pleasant evening. Good night now.